Have you ever found your drawings missing and have red numbers in their place on the timeline? Well today I'll show you not only how to fix this, but also how to stop this happening in the first place. Hello friends, and today I'll show you how you can diagnose and fix the problem of red drawing numbers showing in your timeline or egg sheet, which indicate missing drawings. And basically, the red numbers mean that OpenToon's Autohomer 2D can't find those drawings. But this can happen for a number of reasons. They're not actually saved. They're in the wrong place. They saved incorrectly, probably because of a crash. Or they're saved under a different name after adding them to an imported image. Let's take each of these in turn. First, they're not actually saved. So why wouldn't they be saved? Well, the most common reason is because you just haven't saved them. And this happens because of the confusion of how an OpenToons project and scene is stored in multiple files. And also how the save options are shown in the menu. Put simply, to save your scene and all of the files, from the file menu, choose Save All. And this will save your drawings, their place in the timeline, your effects, and any settings specific to your scene. But it's common to think that the Save Scene menu item, just below, will save everything for your scene. It won't. It only saves the details of the timeline and not the drawings. So it saves the name of the drawing level, the drawing numbers, and on which frames to show them. And that's why the timeline shows where the drawings should be, what their level name is, but not any of the actual drawings. So hitting Save All can save you a lot of heartache. But if you're not sure if you've saved this way, you can check if the drawing files are on disk, which I'll show you how to do shortly. But it is worth me reiterating that before you start a scene, I always recommend starting from the startup pop-up in the Windows menu. And unless you're sharing assets between scenes, create a new project for each scene, instead of using the Sandbox project, and then create your scene in that project. And that'll make doing some of the fix-ups that I mentioned in this video much easier, as well as just helping you to organize your files. And second, the drawing levels are in the wrong place. And this can happen if you've tried moving a project, or are sharing files with somebody else, or for lots of other reasons when you're working outside of the normal localized project. So for the missing level, just right click on one of the red frames in the timeline and choose Level Settings. And in here you can find where OpenToons thinks your file is and check for it on disk. So for this level it's looking in your project's Drawings folder and the name of the file is myvector.pli. But if you're not sure where your project and drawings folders are, just click the ellipsis button to the right here and that'll open OpenToon's internal browser. And in here at the top, you can see the full path to the Drawings folder. And in here, you can see that there's not a file called myvector.pli. So let's just close that, and then open an Explorer view. And you can see the file isn't on disk here either. And in my case, this is because the project came from someone else, and they didn't send over this level. So I just need to ask them for it, move it into this folder, and then reload the scene. So, if they've sent it over here, I go to their Drawings folder, I find the file, myvector.pli, and I can drag that over into my folder. And then, when I reload the scene, we can now see the missing drawings. And third, what if the drawings saved incorrectly? And this can happen if the program crashes, which can even happen partway through saving. And because your scene is made up of lots of files, some of them might be saved okay and others not. And OpenToons is becoming much more robust with each release, so this is becoming less of an issue. But like all software, it can break from time to time. So save often and there'll be less to lose. 
But if you do load a scene and find red drawing numbers on your timeline, especially if you have only some red numbers, as we do here for this Toons raster level, drawings three and four are both shown in red, then you can use the automatic backup file system to see if the previous save drawing level has more drawing information in it. And if you select one of the missing frames in your timeline and take a look at the level strip here on the right hand side. And if you don't have one in your room, you can open a new one from the Windows menu and it's called Level Strip. And in here, you can see there are only two drawings out of the four that I've made. And because the level strip shows all the drawings in your level, not just the ones exposed on the timeline, it's worth taking a look at the level strip to see which drawings you've got safe at this current time. So because I've got two drawings missing, I want to check out the backup. And by default, OpenToon saves one backup file for each level, which is just the previous saved file. But you can change this in the preferences. So from the file menu, choose preferences. And then from the saving section, you can see the number of backups to keep just here. So increase the number to save more backups or set it to zero if you don't want any. So on your timeline, right click on any of the drawings in that level and choose level settings. And this will show where that level is stored. And if the location starts with a plus, then this is a subfolder of your project. But you can click the ellipsis to the right to see an explorer that shows the full path to your file. So here it's looking for mytoonsraster.tlv. So if you just open an explorer view and find the folder with your drawing level in it, So if the saving of this file stopped part way through, the whole file could be corrupted, so it might not contain any drawings, or it might not have created a file yet. But as we've got a backup file here, which is just the same file name but with .bak at the end, we can choose to load this instead. And as we've got a file with the expected name, we should rename it so that we don't lose it, just in case the backup doesn't have more data. So I'll just add my initials to it, so I can try using it later if the backup doesn't work for whatever reason. And then I rename the backup file just by editing the name, and then deleting .bak, and confirm the change. And then if I go back to OpenToons, I can just reload the scene. And now this level is showing the drawings from the previous backed up version of that drawing level. So if you save regularly, this might have more drawings than the corrupted level does, as you can see here. This level has three drawings, whereas the previous corrupted level only had two. So we've lost one drawing, but we've still got more drawings than we had before. And if you're happy with this new version, just delete the file that you added your initials to. Just to keep things tidy on disk. And now for this drawing that we couldn't recover, we can just delete that exposed frame from the timeline by selecting it and pressing the delete key. And then continue animating as we would before. And finally, maybe you've saved properly, but you've added extra drawings to a single imported image. And what do I mean by this? Well, if you've imported an image, as I'll do here, by simply dragging this PNG into the program, and choosing import and it'll appear in the timeline like any other level so you might think that you can draw on the next frame and it'll save as a single level but if you look at the level strip you'll see that the imported image is just a single frame but you can still draw on the following frames and it appears that you're drawing in the same level, with the new drawings also shown in the level strip. And when you press save, you won't see any warnings, but when you reload the scene, you'll have missing drawings, and they won't show in the level strip. And this is a bug that I hope will be fixed at some point, 
But if you come across this, don't fear, they're not lost. If you look at the level settings for any of the missing drawings, by right clicking on one of the frames and choosing level settings, it shows the original drawings name, Batman PNG, and where it is on disk, in the extras folder. And if you're not sure where the extras folder is, just click the ellipsis button and a file browser opens showing you that folder. And now looking in this location, you can see a temporary level has been created that will have your drawings in it. And it's named after the original drawing, Batman, with OT Temp, that's Open Tunes Temp. So to re-add your missing drawings to the timeline, you simply add them from this location. And there's two main ways to do that. The first is to just right click on the timeline and choose load level. Then in your project's extras folder where that file has been created, select the new temp level and click load. And then it loads those two scribbled drawings. And you can simply delete the old missing drawings and place those two in their place. Like that. Or you can open an explorer view, go to the same folder, and then simply click and drag that level and drop it on the program. And they'll be loaded that way. The choice is yours. So there we go. Hopefully this helped you if you've had missing drawings. Or if you haven't, then I hope you've learned a little bit about how drawings are referenced in your scene. So are more comfortable investigating any future problems. And let me know if you've come across the red frame issue yourself in the comments below and why you think it happened. I think that'll be useful for others to read about. But now you know how you can prevent some of them and fix them if you have any. So if you enjoyed this tip, do subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when my next video comes out. And I'll be back soon with another OpenTunes or to Homer 2D tutorial. And that's a guarantee. Thank you.